Yeah, many people ask me how I tune the drum, and it's and I have to tell them always that it's a it's a difficult thing to do. Uh, first of all, if I'm putting a um, a new head on, uh, I will try to make sure that I have all of the lugs tight, tightened down the same number of turns to begin with, um, and I keep going until it's it's fairly fairly tight. I do use a, um, a drum dial. Um, I have it flat. I have the, the, the bass drum turned flat, and I use a drum dial at every lug to um, uh, try to make them equal. However, you have to know that with wooden drums, um, uh, they're never exact, and you find that there are sometimes that, that this outer hoop uh, does not uh, is not the same as the shell of the drum itself. So that I mean, I have a place here on this drum that is tight because of the because of the hoop and so ultimately what it means is that the pitch when i try to pitch the drum at, at every lug lug i find this to be always a little bit higher so i try to work around that and and um, see if i can get it almost exact i have found that in with plastic heads you don't always have to do uh, one um, lug across from the other as you do with uh, with skin heads when you're when you're tightening and um, um, oh well, and also the heads themselves. Uh, what I try to do uh, is uh, obviously to get the get the best sound. The sounding head uh, can be in in various positions to the playing head. Uh, one of one way is to have them the sounding head lower. Another way higher, and the third way is at the same pitch. I found um, at one point when my heads were getting old and I was waiting for the new heads to come in that I, I put the heads uh, at the same pitch and I found out that I had a longer decay, um, which I'm always looking for in, in the drum. Um, right now, I go back and forth with, with, this, uh, uh, with these heads and, and the way I, I treat them. Right now, I have the sounding head up higher than the playing head. And it's about a third higher. And um, almost a fourth. But um, incidentally, when I'm, when I'm tuning, what I try to do is to put, a, put my hand in the middle of the drum and then go around to try to equal. That's the high one. Uh, and then you may find, and I, as I do, once you've gotten the heads uh, tuned, what I try to do is get the heads as low as I can get them without without having uh, ruffles, and uh, and without having it back up on me. A ruffle is uh, when you have uh, ripples in the head along the edge, and so that's one thing that I do when I come into play is I check both heads to see that there are no ruffles, and that's what's going to make it sound like uh, plastic uh, or paper when you when you roll.